there, everybody. It's me, Dr. Ogres. Long time no see, I know, I know. Uh, between real life and my main, I have been too busy to be on with the doctor. Heck, I didn't let my trading slip. Because that takes a lot of time, believe it or not. I mean, it consumes quite a bit of a day just to do some trading. Um, so anyway, uh, I do have the time now, obviously. And I'm back on, but I did actually get something terrible. I let my uh, skill queue drain out. The worst thing ever. I'm now officially behind. I'm still gearing up to get a heavy assault cruiser. I'm looking at the Ishtar. So that's the, the goal right now. Uh, I only need to get assault ships to level 4. So that's not bad. I'm starting on that training now. I'm on the way to the Dixie. I'm going to pick up a skill book and get that rolling. Then I'll be able to pick up the Heavy Assault Cruiser skill book and get that rolling. And then I'll be able to buy the Assault Cruiser and fit it out. So once I have that, um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it or where I'm going to go. But I'm going to I'm going to go have some fun with it somewhere. don't have a, a real plan. Uh, for today, I think I'm either going to do some exploring or I'm going to see if I can't go somewhere and get myself in trouble either PvPing or uh, drive see if there's anything going on with incursions right now I, I, I really the the one incursion I tried obviously I didn't do so hot on so uh, that's not too 26 jumps 16 jumps that's not that far away anyway I'll, uh, I'll kind of figure out what I'm going to do and where I'm going to go. Uh, I've also considered uh, my main and in, in, in my corp, we were in a pretty heavy operation. And for that, for us, that means you know, getting logistics in place and you know, setting out the big term, long term goals of the, the operation and the, the campaign, if you will, of what we're going to do. Moving ships in place and, and getting everything prepared so that when we're we engage in hostilities, we are as ready to go as possible. And uh, they got me thinking a lot about I need to get the doctors set up with jump clones. And there's a couple ways you can do that. There's a corporation you can join called a Stellar Ardor uh, that will allow you to become the, um, will allow you to just join it, set up jump clones, and leave. The, the corporation ha itself has enough standings with enough corporations that you should be able to get jump clones wherever you want them. The other is to do some missions, read a lot of missions, and gain standings for the corporation high enough that you can establish jump clones in their stations. Eh, not too keen on that. Not too keen. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to start up another alt alt. An alt of this alt that I will put into Tasty Bev and make the CEO and get Doctor out, get him into Stellarder and set up some jump clones. Uh, that's the goal right now. I may at some point run some missions and find some stats, but eh, not really too keen on that. Anyway, so I'm going to take care of some of this uh, paperwork, as, as I call it, in-game. And uh, as soon as I figure out what I'm going to do, where I'm going, and what kind of trouble I'm going to try to get into, I will be right back. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Do is go out and try to get involved in this incursion. I haven't done much of that lately. Um, as you see, I'm flying a Dominix. I was in Dodixie and I figured, what the heck, and I bought one. I've got it fit with a couple uh, newts, a couple energy transfer rays, a cloak, just in case. I'm still not sure what to do with the stupid mid slots. Um, I do have the uh, drone modules on, all of them. So I have an, uh, the opt excuse me, the optimal range module. I have the micro warp speed module, and I have the drone control range module. All fit. Uh, I have a pretty beefy tank. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Uh, fitting. Okay, there you go. Do, 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 do. Oh my God! This man. I hope that this isn't just indicative of. Anyway, uh, when I start recording with props, I really do get a huge hit on my um, FP 
DPS. I mean, it's pretty terrible. So anyway, um, I'm sitting on 116,000 effective hit points with 60 and 70% resists across the board. Still lowest on Thermi. I thought about swapping these out for uh, active coordinators to patch specific holes, but I decided instead to use one of the rank slots to to this one here to, to uh, plug the explosive hole and then just go for broad resists and three 1600 plates on it. And as you can see, I still have tons of fitting room because I didn't put guns on it because I don't have gun skills. <laughs> I mean, all my skills went to drones, and I've got quite a selection of drones. I've got two sets of sentries, uh, hammers, warriors, and Valkyries. So that should do us. So anyway, um, you may notice that the date is different than the first time I started recording, and that is because when I got set up in the first time, I got into Dixie and I started getting the skills and all that good stuff I wanted bought and put into the ye old skill queue. And uh, the way I run Eve is I have two or three clients running usually. Um, I think I'm going to have to kill them with this lag. I'm really getting terrible at well, I have two or three clients running uh, simultaneously usually and I'm bouncing between them and looking at what's going on with my other characters. So. I got into Dodixie and I was ready to get going. And I looked over on my main account and they were trying to get a hold of me. <laughs> uh, because uh, the uh, we're doing some... We're basically fighting like three wars on three different fronts. So there's a lot of jostling around. And we had a pretty serious target of opportunity that we wanted to be able to act upon. And I was the only FC that was online. So I had to go take care of that. And that pretty much took up the rest of my life. But overall, it was, it was a pretty good night. If I weren't so paranoid, I would record it and show you guys uh, that stuff. But mm. <laughs> Especially when we're in an active war. I just don't want the war targets to have any kind of intel on what we're doing and where we're going and how we're doing it. So that's the, that's the thing, and that's why I kind of got dragged away into that. But right now, I'm just going to move to the staging system here and... I will hopefully uh, be able to get into a pickup fleet or something uh, with some armor tank logistics stuff. Uh, I did drive. put the remote cap transfers on because that, that way I can be at least helpful. And by giving capacitor to people who are low on reps, uh, I don't have really the skills necessary for spider tanking with this Dominix yet. Those skills are planned and in the queue but they're not where they need to be right now. So anyway, that's the that's the plan right now. So I'm going to see if I can figure out this FPS problem. Uh, I'll keep pointing up here. You guys can see, but the Fraps has an FPS meter. And the second I start recording, it just takes a nose dive. So I'm presuming that the clients plus the HD recording is not making my poor little computer happy here. I'll try to get that sorted out, and uh, when I get to the staging system, if I can get into a fleet, I will catch up with you guys then. Right, talk to you. Uh -huh. All right. I had to kill one of my other accounts to get the FPS back where it needs to be. <sighs> I don't like not being able to run with as many clients as I want. But that's the thing. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm still on my way. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Alright, so I'm trying to get into a fleet, but it hasn't happened yet. Uh, we'll see what we're doing, but I'm just going to go out to an asteroid belt and see what I can do. Our primary objective is to clear the local asteroid colony of hostile Sanjo forces. Uh, we'll see. It's a 1.0 system, so it should be... Well, <laughs> I'd say it should be a lot, and it always turns out bad. But there are penalties in place. So anyway, uh, if, if I can get into a fleet, oops, sorry, um, that'd be great. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on in the 
recursion chat. I was hoping that uh, it would be a little bit more helpful. People are smack talking one another there, but eh. I guess we'll see. Good job. I really don't. I'm sure I like this shit. It's the uh, it's an Amar Battle Cruiser. Has it not killed one of these rats yet? Jello Rondo. I don't know what that means. It's gonna lock on him. It takes me forever to lock frigates though. I think that's one of the things I need to put into the, the min slots here is uh, need to get some which my jigs. <laughs> Sensor booster. So that I can actually get a reasonably fast lock on things. I mean, look at it. It's terrible. There he is. I'll leave him to it. Active. Well, I, don't, I don't seem to give out buttons either. Why did you even bother? So maybe I'll let him do it. See what I can do about sensor boosting. I didn't shoot nothing. <laughs> so, uh, maybe there's points to be gotten. I, I don't know. I'm just not sure how this works. Um, so yeah, let's see about getting a SIBO on this ship, and I'm gonna keep trying to get into a fleet, and we'll see how it goes. So I guess the uh, the belts, the rats actually do pay out, but they only pay out at the end. And uh, they get loyalty points, but only if there's um, oh, it's almost over. Uh, if there's
for a dot six system. I thought maybe I'd drop some sentries on him and see if I could pop him, but didn't didn't work. Didn't work. But this is the hard system because it says sentry headquarters. Um, if you look at this though, it says it's. for the disc reasons. I didn't want to but I do not want to share. I mean I can't really blame them. I can't really blame them. I'm gonna need to repair here before too much longer. Um but yeah, so these systems seem to be already done. I've also been keeping an eye on the live events channel uh, just to see if there's anything going on there. I don't know if you guys watched Lone Wolf uh, in his videos, but he's been doing a pretty good job of recapping some of the live events, which have been pretty cool. Um, I have been otherwise occupied myself, but uh, I'm always happy to have some people. Um, I'm always happy to. His channel's great. You guys should go out and watch his videos. Double the Lone Wolf. Nothing down fix down here. Let's see what he's doing. He's webbed. I don't see him shooting anything. The sentry's out. Whoa, it's too far. Lame. Lame. Even with my fancy rigs. Just get two kilometers within me. Two kilometers. Anyway. Alright, well, I'm going to pull them back in because clearly that's not going to. Now he's going to be within range, isn't he? Um, so yeah, these rats, they sit out in belts and you blow it and blow them up. And at the end of it, you get a, a chunk of disc from Concord. And oh, you've been aggressed. Look at that. I'm not sure if it's like a 
think it might be one of these. Oh, I have to turn it off. Where's it the end? Where's it the end? They do shoot your drones too. So. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, these things all seem to be I'm not sure what this means, but that's that's my understanding. Of it. But like I said, I got doing pretty good damage. These, I mean, the numbers he's putting out are pretty high, but I mean, that's.
चीज है So, uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's the general state of things right now. I'm trying to get a fleet, but I'm still having trouble. I'm gonna go ahead and repair all. Oh, that's expensive. And uh, gonna keep going. Hopefully, Concord will give me enough isk to cover this stuff. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I should just buy myself a armor repairer. Undock and wrap it up. But I'm gonna go hit another belt or two. Let's see if that'll see any, see if that see what that's like. And then, uh, If it were me, and so I said, I don't even want the money, blah, 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 I'd probably have them in my fleet, but it's not my fleet. They get to do what they want. Now, Beta was, uh, wants, wants everybody to know that he's been ninja salvaging uh, <laughs> incursions. So the fleet goes in and deals with the rats, and he goes in and salvages the, the wrecks. He's been tight on cash, so that's what he's been doing, which is good. Good to have a source of income. And I'm totally for ninja salvaging. I think it's awesome. It's annoying, but awesome. Um, nothing in this belt. Okay, next belt. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Left within Warp drive active. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna just bounce around and do the stuff. I'm again trying to get into a fleet. If I don't, I'll probably just call that a night. But uh, I do want to get this edited, put together, and uploaded. I am playing again. Uh, I, I didn't really stop, but the my main, like I said, we're basically fighting a war on three fronts, and getting the logistics set up for that is a lot of work. So we've been shuttling, just shuttling things around and you know, getting our jump freighter runs and you know, determining what blueprints we need where and how, how many minerals to take in and all that good stuff it takes quite a bit of time and we set up a couple of passes which takes time so pretty much everything we do to get prepared for this stuff takes a lot of time um, so we um, warp drive active So what we did was um, we got all that stuff set up and we just started scouting before we got all the decks and stuff out just to kind of uh, make sure that everybody knew the ground and knew what everything was going. And then we dropped war decks, um, primarily because it's a um, Mosec and we don't want gate gunfire. It's a whole different game. You're trying to, excuse me, tank gate guns. Um, and the point behind it was... Um, one for a little bit of fun for our pilots and two uh, there are some strategic resources that we want to have control of in the area so it's um it's a matter of getting people to move on uh, the first court that we decked is uh, ready to quit already so we're pretty happy with that for stations after uh, so we're pretty happy with those results uh, after we, we killed an obelisk the other night and that was that was pretty good we, our scouts found them, and uh, they got me on, and we quickly threw a fleet together, and uh, kind of hoarded, herded, hoarded, herded, herded, yeah, it's a word, <laughs> oh my god, I herded them into a trap, and then I, to the point where their support fleet had the choice of warping off and leaving the obelisk to die, or trying to fight us, and we didn't really have to shoot the obelisk, we, we just held it in place. He was uh, workhorse stabilized, of course, but uh, we had our heavy interdictor pilot on and managed to just 
get a nice little infinite point on him, so he wasn't going nowhere. All we had to do was keep the Dictor alive, the, the Hector, and, um, you know, a, a couple scimitars focused on a broadsword can do, you know, a pretty good job. And then the rest of us should blow up the rest of their fleet. It was pretty good. It was a good kill. You know, we got quite a bit of junk out of it. So, um, and it, it was nice in, in that it really kind of crippled their, their, um, kind of crippled their, uh, infrastructure, which was our, which was, was our, our goal for the thing. So now that they're, you know, they're, uh, they've got basically nothing, they're, now that they basically have nothing, they're ready to give up and, and surrender. So they're uh, talking to us about what we want, which is good, which is all we really wanted. <laughs> it's like, you know, you need to leave this moon and this moon and that moon, and, and we'll leave you alone. Um, so we're going to get some towers set up once they're gone. Um, they're decent moons. They're nothing that anybody will come stomping down on our heads for. At least we all hope so. Um, but we do have defensives in place, and we're ready to deal with it, so... We should be able to hold them for the couple, three months that we really want them. Um, and after that, you know, we'll be on to the next campaign. So that's the that's the goal. That is the goal. Oh, I'm just following this guy around. I'm just going to go on top of him. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to keep trying to get into the uh, Hopefully I'll be able to get one. If I don't, then I'll probably just get this edited just so I can upload it. If I do, I'll record all that good stuff and I do want to. Uh, I do want to start getting ready to set up the um, another another roam with you guys. Uh, I was thinking T1 mining frigates, um, like we mentioned, and that seemed to be a fairly popular idea. Uh, I like it more than the hull tanking battleship fleets, even though I like the idea of the hull tanking battleship fleet. Um, simply because the skill skill base to get in is pretty low, so pretty much any hull should be able to do it. So I'll probably be getting that organized and put up soon uh, after we've I've completed the, the campaigns in my main core with our combat. I just don't want to be I don't want to be in a point where I have too much of that to deal with. Uh, so that's that's the general idea. Let's start with the kinetics. That's the general idea. Everybody back in. You don't shoot my drones, you shoot at me. So yeah, the uh, we'll be going out and doing that soon, I promise. Uh, I just want to get a date set up, but I know I can do it. I'm trying to get it down, try it sometime midday in my time, so that as many people Yes. 